Evelyn Morgan and her husband Chris live in a small hamlet on the Connecticut River. They've been married for 10 years. She's a cancer survivor, not once, but twice. More than 15 years ago, Evelyn was diagnosed with colon cancer, a cancer her mother did not survive. Evelyn made it through surgery and chemotherapy and had reached her five-year cancer-free mark. Life was changing for the better. She was a newlywed and had one more doctor's visit to go, but a new problem was on the horizon. It was my follow-up visit from the colonoscopy, and he said, congratulations, Evelyn. This is wonderful news. You don't need to worry. And I said, oh, I'm so relieved, but I found this lump, and it doesn't feel right to me. And he felt it. He said, it doesn't feel right to me either. Evelyn had found the lump during a regular self-exam and just had a gut feeling. And there are times in your life when you just know that something is really wrong and really, I mean, I didn't need anything else. I knew that this was not good. Evelyn had been having her annual mammograms and been seen by doctors regularly throughout her battle with colon cancer. Though an earlier mammogram showed no signs of a lump, her self-exam, done sometime later, discovered a problem. Doctors took a biopsy of the lump. It was malignant. Evelyn had stage three breast cancer. My husband was with me, and we were told together. Um, I thought, I did this already. I, you know, it's not fair. We haven't been married that long, and I don't want to have to go through this again. I was just celebrating the fact that I was free of cancer. Evelyn's diagnosis was difficult to grasp at first. She and her husband were looking forward to doing the things they had put off because of her colon cancer. But now, she had become a patient all over again. So I felt uh, scared, but also hopeful. I had done it once, and I would do it again. Over the years, Evelyn and her doctors were persistent in following the recommended steps of screening for breast cancer. Step right up against the machine. Very Mammography, okay. an x-ray of the breasts, and annual breast exams by a physician, along with breast self-examination. At the University of Connecticut Health Center in Farmington, Connecticut, Dr. Kristen Zarfos is the assistant professor of surgery. Early detection is the key to improve survival for women with breast cancer. By educating women about the three components of early detection, we can give them the ability to improve the quality of their lives, to improve their health, and to improve their ability to survive if diagnosed with breast cancer. You put your left arm up onto this bar. Along with new treatments, mammography has significantly increased life expectancy. But because many women, particularly young women, will have dense breasts, the density of that tissue can obscure an abnormality so that 7 to 10 percent of breast cancers aren't apparent on mammogram. Most medical groups recommend women in their 40s have mammograms every year or every other year, and annual mammograms beginning in their 50s. Evelyn's treatment was aggressive. She had a mastectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. The second time around, she made a decision on how to cope with her treatment. And it dawned on me, I've got to allow this chemotherapy to work. And I did some imaging. It was very powerful. I decided to imagine that this was an army I had invited into my body, and that this army was going to go through all of my cells, and it was going to find cancer cells wherever they were, and that I had to encourage it and to allow it to find them and not tense against it. Many women with breast cancer find ways of coping with the disease. At the University of Connecticut Health Center, Dr. Carolyn Runowitz is the cancer center director. She's a 12-year breast cancer survivor herself and wants women to know breast cancer is not necessarily an emergency situation. When a woman is told that she has breast cancer, her immediate reaction is, I have to have surgery, I have to get this out, and either the lump or the breast. The woman feels betrayed by her body, and she is certain that the cancer is spreading as she speaks. But in fact, breast cancer takes somewhere around seven years from the time it starts as a little cell to the time that a doctor or a healthcare provider can actually detect it 
or that a mammogram can detect it. Making rational decisions is key for newly diagnosed women. There's not one right treatment strategy for every patient. Dr. Runowitz recalls her reaction to being diagnosed with breast cancer. And I stopped being a doctor and I became this emotional person that I was talking about before where you're not reacting based on how a tumor evolves and it takes many years. You react, I have cancer, I have to fix it yesterday. And it happens to everyone. And that's made me more sensitive to the issue of telling patients cancer is not an emergency, although it feels like one. It's an emotional emergency, but not a biologic emergency. Hey, Evelyn. Hi. I have a suggestion. With the advancements in treatment today, patients are living longer and having a better quality of life. This section right here. Throughout her treatment, Evelyn continued to work as a medical librarian and has been active in helping other women with breast cancer. Today, she's a 10-year breast cancer survivor and lives her life without changing much of her lifestyle. Along the way, she has also learned a thing or two about herself. I faced the worst fear um, of my life and looked it square in the eyes and said, Okay, there's nothing worse that I have to worry about, and I have faced it, and I'm going to be all right. I think of disease as climbing a mountain, and people say, well, what do you want to do now? And I'm like, okay, I climbed this mountain. I want to enjoy the view.